Welcome to HGH.TV, your premier source for all your hormone replacement needs. We specialize in doctor-monitor human growth hormone, testosterone, somorilin, and HCG diet therapies with pharmaceuticals prescribed with USA pharmacies by board-certified physicians. A safe and responsible choice in regaining youth and vitality back in your life with hormone replacement therapy. Up next, we have some helpful information and tips for your hormone replacement therapy. What we have here is a great supplement to any hormone replacement program. B12 injections are a popular and effective way to support immune and energy. So let's review everything you'll need to get started for a safe and effective B12 vitamin intramuscular or subcutaneous injection program. We have a 25 gauge 1 inch needle pin, 3 ml syringe tube, 30 ml vial of B12, alcohol swab, and insulin syringe needles. You are going to need plenty of these over the next months, on average 2 to 3 needles per week, depending on the recommended prescribed dosage and protocol, check with your clinic or physician. There are two ways that B12 can be administered either through subcutaneous injection or intramuscular injection. This is a 25 gauge 1 inch needle pin. These needles are typically used for injecting in the shoulder arm area. They come in packages like this and have a protective clear covering. These needles also come in various gauges such as 23 gauge and also vary in needle length such as one and a half inch which are for intramuscular injections in the buttocks area of the glutes. Now this is an insulin syringe used for subcutaneous injections in the abdomen area or the gut. So here we have a 30 ml vial of B12. Like always we never promote any particular product brand or any specific pharmacy so that is why the vials we have have no label. You'll notice it comes in a tinted vial to protect it from sunlight. This does not need to be refrigerated and can be kept at room temperature. B12 does come in smaller 5 ml and 1 ml vials. When you first receive your B12, it may have a protective metal seal over the cap that you will have to remove. This one has already been taken off, revealing the rubber stopper. Once again, there are two popular ways of administering vitamin B12, either by intramuscular injection or by subcutaneous injection. Now we can go into detail with intramuscular injections. Let's grab and open the 25 gauge 1 inch needle pin. Look for the corners for the tab that will open the package. Here you have the protected needle pin. Make sure that the package is unopened and sealed. If not, discard. Let's get rid of this. Let's now grab the 3 ml syringe tube. You will be using this along with the 25 gauge 1 inch needle pin to withdraw the B12 from the vial. Look for the corners of the tab that will open the package once again. Pull out the tube here. Also make sure that the package is unopened and sealed if not discarded. Throw out the empty wrapper. You can see that this is a marked tube that goes up to 3 mLs. Some come in 5 mLs and even 10 mLs. B12 usually requires only 1 mL of liquid per injection. So now let's screw on the 25 gauge 1 inch needle pin. The needle should screw on or off very easily, just gently tighten. Let's set that down for a moment. Remember to keep your hands and your work area clean and sanitized. I'm wearing gloves today, but it's not required as long as you use good judgment in administering your injections. Take an alcohol swab just like this one. You can pick them up at any pharmacy near you. Open the package. We'll throw that out. Using the swab, we want to gently wipe down the rubber stopper portion of the vial. Just a quick dab is all it takes. No need to press down hard and saturate the whole top with alcohol. Again, just a light tap and you're ready. Throw out the used swab and now we are ready to withdraw the B12. Take off the needle cover, insert the needle straight in as close to dead center as possible. Using both hands, start pulling back the syringe plunger slowly. You'll see that B12 has a red color to it as it flows out. 
We're going to pull gently back until we reach the 1 ml mark. Take your time. Now we have 1 ml of B12 in the tube syringe. Simply take out the needle carefully. Since this is not an intravenous injection, you don't need to be too concerned if you have a little bit of air in the syringe. Do not ever inject into your actual veins, by the way. Tap the plunger to get any little bit of air out. Try until a little tiny droplet of B12 appears from the needle tip. But again, if you happen to have some air in there, there's no cause for concern. We are now all set to inject in the shoulder arm area. It's only one inch long and you should not feel it at all. The site for injection is right here in this area. A good reference point is this bone right here and at the bottom of the muscle below here. Anywhere in this area is fine. Stay close to the center as possible. Everyone has a muscle here so you can't get it wrong if done carefully. Once again, stay between the bone. You can feel here and the bottom of the deltoid, your upper arm muscle, anywhere in this area, keep to the center if possible. Use an alcohol swab to prep the injection area. Wipe down the entire area, like so. Grab the needle syringe, remove the protective cap. Don't throw away, we'll need that once we're done. Find your preferred injection area of the arm. Aim and inject the needle straight into the skin at a 90 degree angle if possible. Avoid a 45 degree angle in either direction. Straight in as possible. Once you're done injecting, place the protective cover back on the needle. Now after you're done, simply throw out the syringe tube and needle into a sharps container or other biohazard collector. Here is your insulin syringe you are going to need for the B12 subcutaneous injection. Once again, we want to dab an alcohol swab on the rubber stopper of the vial. You want to make sure everything you touch is sanitized. Work with clean hands, remove the orange cap. You'll notice it is a very small and thin needle. Take off the end cap as well. That comes off easily. Aim as close to dead center of the rubber top as possible at a 90 degree angle if possible. Use both hands and withdraw the B12. Today we're only going up to the 30 mark, which is also 3 IUs. Carefully remove the needle without bending it. Notice again, we only withdrew up to the 30 unit mark on the insulin syringe. It's recommended you don't inject as much subcutaneously as you would with an intramuscular injection. That amount of 1 ml would fill this entire syringe. One full ml will last for a week. Doing it this way, you'll need an injection every two to three days. Check with your clinic or doctor for what is best for you. Now you would grab a pinch full of belly fat around your stomach area. Stay about one inch away from your belly button in every direction. Gently squeeze a bit of fat. You want to inject at a 45 degree angle if possible. Avoid going straight in. Do not poke deep into your skin. Go just enough for the needle to break the skin. After you inject, carefully place the cap back on, discard responsibly, throw out any trash you may have away from children and so on. And what we end up with is a great way to enhance your HRT program by incorporating B12 vitamin injections. You can expect to have more energy and a stronger immune system. We hope you enjoyed our segment. For more information, contact one of our representatives here at hgh.tv. And remember, this instructional video is not intended to replace the advice and direction of your current healthcare provider. This video presentation is about health issues, but it is not medical advice. If you're seeking specific medical advice or assistance, you should contact your personal physician. Also, the material discussed in this presentation is not intended to present the only or necessarily the best method and procedure, but rather presents the opinion of our experts. You can look forward to more informative videos right here on HGH.TV, your hormone replacement specialist. Glad you can join us. We look forward to having you back here real soon. Bye for now.